Oh, it's cold. Uh. Welcome to an episode of uh, mountain biking with Mo, where I struggle for your entertainment. Um, we're cycling to, uh, to my local trails, Soetermeer, and I decided to go for a, for a ride on this terrible cold day. It might even snow a little bit. Yeah, I've traded in my uh, motorcycle for the mountain bike. It's, uh, it seems like the mountain biking season is uh, almost over. I mean, uh, motorcycling. So, during the winter you might see more videos of me on the mountain bike. They have, uh, they've changed some things at the trails. So let's go and check them out. And the pictures that they uh, looked uh, very promising. <coughs> that is if I don't uh, die. Oh, and by the way, the the audio of this uh, clip, I'm recording it with uh, uh, the 3D uh, microphone. So I have headphones in that uh, have microphones in them, each one in each ear. And the idea is that you can hear everything the way I hear it. So if you have headphones on, when I snap my fingers next to my left ear, you can hear it uh, coming from the left. Same thing on the right ear. You can hear me snapping my fingers on the right. I hope the wind noise isn't uh, picked up as bad as last time. Thank you. So most changes uh, on the trails should be on the right in this forest, high up on this uh, massive mountain. Oh, and this is quite interesting. At night people gather here and someone just decided to uh, shoot at it with a gun. They found bullets as well, but uh, I don't think you have to be afraid because uh, whoever shot on it uh, almost missed this giant sign, so you're probably safe if you come here at night. And while we're at it, let me show you my bike. There you have it, a YT Jeff CF Pro, or not the Pro, I'm not sure, that leads to carbon fiber. And I didn't change all that much to it. I changed the saddle. It's uh, from fabric, not as comfortable as I hoped it would be. I had to change the, the Cassette, brake pads, oils, and the mud cart, and the bottle. But other than that, actually, it's pretty much stock, which is a good sign, I guess, because uh, that means not much was broken or has broken since I got it. Let's see what they've done to this trail.
don't judge. I'm just a bit fat and I just walk up. Maybe it's an interesting story to tell you how I got into mountain biking in the first place. It all started when I was uh, 18 and I just finished um, high school, whatever you call it. I was just uh, bored though during the summer vacation and I was scrolling on YouTube. Back then I had an orange hardtail mountain bike from Land Rover, something I got from my dad. And I used it to uh, ride to school. And then on YouTube I saw a video called Life Cycles. So I clicked on it. I really enjoyed the movie. It was actually awesome, I watched it a couple of times. And I realized I uh, I want to do the same things. So I looked up where if I if we had mountain biking trails here, and it ended up uh, we do. It's where I'm right now in Sutermere, and I just packed and came here, no gear, no helmet, no nothing. And ever since then, I was hooked. But I was more interested in downhill mountain biking. So my first, let's say real mountain bike. It was a specialized status. It's a downhill bike I still use today. Yeah, that's how it started. I wonder how you guys uh, started mountain biking. If you're mountain biking yourself. Hmm. Uh, huh? Nee, ik zie het niet voor het eerst. Oh, nieuw hè? Ik weet nog niet wat ik moet verwachten, maar gewoon stukje voor stukje aanpakken en kijken hoe het eruit ziet. Maar voor het eerst hier zo? Nee, nee, sinds voor het eerst na de verbouwing van dit stuk. Ja, let's slowly tackle this place. Let's see what's uh, changed. Or this is the kids trail. That guy just told me that there are some changes uh, there as well, so the rock garden. It's the best bit of downhill trail they have here. Oh, damn, son. Really slippery. <laughs> you can clear the air out here how wet it is here. Oh, I can see a bird. Let's see if it gets scared of me. It's a bird. And it's natural habitat. Yes, yeah, you, can, you can clearly see the bird. I'm not sure what kind of bird it is. It, it's a big colorful color. It's a colorful. Fucking hell. It's a colorful bird. 
you know one of the main sad things about uh, GoPros it's um, how they hide how steep things are in reality uh, I'm not saying this is super steep but on video this section looks completely flat and maybe I can show you with my bike as a reference well such a nice place to just relax nobody around just uh, me my bike Natur one issue my bike has it's uh, since I put on the oval chain ring from I'm sure you recognize where it's from I don't remember where it's from uh, but my uh, chain keeps dropping off a lot which is pretty awful oh, I forgot all the terms in uh, in parts and in mountain biking clearly a sign of uh, not doing it enough yeah that, that that thing that prevents your chain from falling off uh, with a bash guard it's not that it's strictly necessary here but it's nice to have the peace of mind that the chain won't drop off at the front and if that means that I have to go back to a normal chain ring on the front I don't mind because uh, well I suck at uh, cycling uphill anyway might as well suck some more uh, I know that, that sounded pretty off, awful oh you know what I mean let's go though I lost my chain. Hmm. Oh no, I did. <laughs> I didn't lose my chain. I was just in the wrong gear. I'm going to take the line on the left. And just uh, skip the the drop there down there. Let's go into a, a better gear. Come on! Oh, it oh, it's already in gear. Are you ready? Because uh, I sure am. Let's go. I'm not wearing glasses, <laughs> and I got uh, a lot of dirt in my eye. Lesson learned: wear glasses next time. Quite the opposite problem from uh, motorcycling. Mm. This is shit. Uh, going uphill. It's not even on dirt. And it's so tiring. Who needs a smartwatch? When well, you can just listen to your heart. Let's see if it's even recording still. My GoPro is. Because I can see the... A little indicator. Oh. My phone is as well. And the motor vlogs I'm using a, a lav mic for the audio recorder. But I thought it would be something unique to... Uh, to have this... 3D audio, also from the surroundings, 
and something I love a lot about mountain biking is just the the sounds uh, the bike makes like the sound of tires and dirt the suspension working and when I'm just waiting here like this uh, just the sound of nature trees, birds, raindrops Yeah, it's amazing. All right, let's go. See if I can uh, remember how it went now. I don't need to get at all. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, that hurt. Again on my right hip. Oh, I went over the edge. Steering is not straight anymore. Oh, my arm and shoulder hurt. That's what you get for not mountain biking for a long time. Let's put this straight. I think that's straight. Hey. Huh? Yeah, I'm not net over the rand. I'm not over the rand. I'm Dat weet ik niet. Is dat ook koog? Ben je precies daar gevallen ook? Fijn schade? Ja, een beetje elleboog, schouder, heup, maar niks ernstigs. Nou, dat is wel wat happened. Want daar, I think my front wheel hit this. En hij ende dat daar. Oh, that's crashing with 3D audio. I can feel my shoulder being sore a little bit. Yeah, time to go home. I suppose. Before I start hurting myself more. That was an episode of uh, mountain biking with Mo. I crashed especially for you guys and girls. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have crashed otherwise. So I hope you liked it. Uh, let me know what you thought of uh, of mountain biking with Mo. It's. Uh, I think I'm going to switch between motocross and mountain biking with Mo. Hope to see you next time. See ya. Just in time. GoPro died. I almost died.